guys, Tori Boggs here. I've been getting a lot of messages about how to level up or get creative on beginner jump rope skills to add into your workout routine. Today, I'll be showing you 20 of my favorite beginner jump rope tricks that you can pick up and add in pretty quickly. So let's jump right into it. The first skill is a skier. This is a side to side lateral movement with your feet together. It's a great transition directly from a basic jump. The next skill is the bell. This is a front to back movement with your feet together. And it starts teaching different ways to push off your feet in the jumps. Skill number three is a straddle. Your feet can jump about shoulder width apart, landing on the ground at the same time, and then back to the middle. The next skill is the X motion. This starts with a straddle, but on the center jump, you cross your legs, landing on your toes. Try to alternate which leg is in front on the cross. From there, you can go into the scissors or forward straddle. Your weight should stay equally balanced over the center line versus sitting back or leaning forward. Make sure that your feet land on the ground at the same time for this one as well. The next skill is the twister. The idea is to keep from your waist up facing forwards and only turn right to left at your hips. Going into single foot movements, you can start with a jogger or the jog step. Alternating feet for this skill, make sure you jump over the rope with each foot. From here, you can do the double jog step. Jump twice on your right, then twice on your left, alternating between the two. Skill number nine is high knees. This is just an exaggeration of the jog step. So really think about getting your knee up higher here. A common favorite is the boxer step. This is a side to side weight shift, doing two jumps each leg. When you jump with your weight more on your right foot, lightly tap your left on the ground and then shift your weight to your left foot and lightly tap your right on the ground. The next skill is the heel jump. Tap your heel out in front of you, pulling your toes upward and keeping your weight on the back leg. Your feet should touch the ground at the same time and be sure to get both sides down for this one. From there, you can go into the toe jumps or toe taps. The weight will stay on the front leg here as you lightly tap your toe behind you. This is another skill to practice with both legs. Skill number 13 is the side swing jump. For this one, you wanna swing the rope forwards to the side of your body by reaching one arm across. After the swing, open your arm and take a jump before going to the other side. The double side swing jump is just adding a swing and a jump to the previous skill. Do a side swing on the right, then left before taking two jumps. Then go side swing on the left, then the right and two jumps. The next skill is the shuffle. For this one, you wanna take a few jumps to travel to the right and a few jumps to travel to the left. Make sure your upper body stays facing the front shoulder squared. Going into backward jumps, start with the rope in front of you and swing your arms backwards. All of the skills up to this point, you can also try backwards. Skill number 17 is a full turn. After jumping the rope, let it come in front of you, spin in a circle, raising your arms up in the back, then bring them down as you come to the front, take a jump. The next skill is a 360. Start like the full turn, but take a backward jump when facing the back. Then up in the air after the backward jump and spin to the front to bring your arms down and jump forwards. Skill number 19 is a cross. When the rope is above your head, you wanna cross your arms at your hips, reaching as far as possible across your body and turning your hands in this position. The rope will be above your head once more and you can uncross into a jump. Try alternating, crossing with the right on top as well as with the left. And lastly, try out a double under. Take an extra big jump, pushing through the balls of your feet and turn your arms twice. There are a lot more details to mastering this one, but if it's feeling good, you can also go for consecutive double unders. Don't get frustrated if some skills take you longer than others. Everyone progresses a bit differently and ultimately jump rope at some level is a challenge for each of us. 
stick with it though and you can really start to have some fun with mixing, matching, combining, and forming sequences that make for dynamic workouts. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, grab your rope, try out all these skills, and until next time, happy jumping. Presented by Brooks Running.